To get started you want to match up your ends and then pull out a long enough piece so you can make a tie on end at the end and then you want to tie a temporary knot like that and then you want to take your board and clip this knotted end to the top of your board. So once you've attached the cord to the board you want to have your two shortest ends at this side and then your longest end here and you want to slightly separate these two cords and then clip them to the bottom of the board. So to begin the pattern I'm going to do a hitch knot over both these cords. So I'm going to do a couple of hitch knots just in the beginning. So I'm going to go over and through and then just pull it tight at the top of the board and then I want to go under and through. And then just do the same thing again and you can do as many or as few hitch knots for your beginning as you want this is the bit that's going to be on the inside so isn't going to be seen so once you've started your pattern with your hitch knots you can take your cords from the bottom of the board and i'm going to add a bead to this outside cord here And I'm going to reattach the cords to the bottom of the board. And then what I want to do is just working over this cord here, the one that doesn't have the bead on, I'm going to do hitch knots again. So I'm going to be doing three hitch knots. So that's over and through and under and through to complete a hitch knot. So it's six knots in total. And that's because that's going to fit this bead nicely. Depending on the size of your bead, you might want to do more or you might do one less. So once you've done those three hitch knots or however many you need for the size of your bead, you can push the bead up at this side and then you want to do one hitch knot over both of the cords. And this just holds your bead in place. And then once you've done that, you can remove the clip from the bottom of the board again. Add your next bead. And then return your cords to the bottom of the board. And again, just working over this cord, I'm going to do another three hitch knots. And this is basically the pattern that you want to repeat all the way down until the anklet is as big as you want it to be. So once you've added all your beads, you can do the same amount of square knots that you did at the beginning to make it symmetrical. And then you can remove the cords from the bottom of the board. And then you just want to finish off by making a braided tie on end. You just want to separate your three strands and just braid. And you want to do this at both ends. So once you've braided as long as you need, you can tie all your cords in a knot at the end just to keep everything in place. And then you can trim and seal any excess. So I'm going to use a lighter to seal here, but you can use glue if you prefer. And once you've done that, you can remove your anklet from the board. And you should end up with something that looks like this.